Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel! Today we'll be painting a still life um, subject and I chose a glass of orange juice with some orange slices and we'll be using only a few colors today which is amazing as always when we do only a few colors so the colors are listed in the description box below but I will say it uh, as well so these are the colors we have a mid yellow burnt sienna black titanium white I have a lot and then we have here orange so I will do the background first in fact I have here with me my hair dryer so that um, I get to dry the background quite quickly um, for time um, or for speed purposes so I'm gonna do the background now I'll be linking in the description box below as always the reference image for this painting tutorial so for the background we'll be using some light uh, no not not light but actually a um, muted brown color so I'm gonna use my burnt sienna tiny bit of black and a lots of titanium white so it's like grayish brownish color right so I'm just gonna use this color to color the background This is just the background, so um, we should not really give importance to this. We'll be focusing more on the subject rather than the background, although the background serves a huge indication of light source. like that okay now I'm gonna do the table which is basically white but we're going to make it, it a little grayish so that when we do the highlights the highlights stand out all right so I'm gonna wash my brush out and I'm gonna get again my white but this time I'll be adding black to make it more gray and I'm gonna color this table I'm doing this background colors quite randomly. I don't know, not randomly, quite quick. Because I don't wanna, again, I was actually thinking of starting the video when the background is already done, but then I, I decided to just show you how I do it. Okay, like that. So this will serve as a table and this will serve as the wall. But the background is not yet really done. It's not yet done. So I'm gonna get a tiny bit of black. Mix that with the brownie color that we already had. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of burnt sienna. And I'm gonna water it down so that it flows smoothly on the canvas. And I'm just gonna darken the lower portion of the wall. And kind of blend on, uh, I mean, all the way up. So I'm just Okay. 
So it's kind of light up here. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep my brush strokes in horizontal um, motion. Like that. Okay, so my. I'm just gonna fix this part. Alright. Okay, so that's basically the table and the wall. But I think I'm gonna fix the wall even more. I'm gonna add more brown. I told you guys we will not be focusing on the wall, but I still feel that we should add a little more uh, details. Then I'm gonna get my black. Again, I'm just gonna separate the wall from the table. All right, and then I'm gonna wash my brush out. And that's basically it. Now I'm gonna sketch the subject, which is the main focus of this painting. Now, if you see some awkward lines, like I think I'm, I'm, my line is not that straight. So if you're seeing that, you better correct it now so that later you will not have any issue. Okay, I'm just gonna straighten it a bit. like that okay i think that's pretty much uh the way i like it okay now i'm gonna get my hair dryer just to dry things a little faster so excuse the noise I think that's um yeah that's good enough and now i'm gonna sketch the subject you can use pencil in sketching it but as you know me guys i usually use my paint straight away in sketching my subject this time i'm just gonna use a more pointy brush so that um it imitates the pointy part of the pencil but i really want to use paints instead of uh, the pencil lead uh, in sketching it I don't know why it's just I feel like when I add a pencil uh, sketching it's mixed media not any more acrylic painting so for the sketch part I'm just gonna use my black and I'm gonna mix that with burnt sienna this is a sketching guys so most likely we will be painting over the sketch we don't want any hard lines to be showing on the final look of the painting so again, I'm just adding more water so that it glides smoothly on the canvas. And I'm gonna do my best to make this glass as um, uh, straight and as proportionate as possible. Proportionate or proportional? Or yeah, whatever guys. Okay, so for the glass, Yeah, this is pretty much dry so that I can lean on the paper.
All right. I think I wasn't breathing uh, uh, while doing the, <laughs> the sketch because it's quite straight. So now let's do the mouth of the glass. It's not straight, but it's not too curvy. Uh, so just... Just do a slight curve. It's almost straight, guys. Don't um, be deceived by um, what you want to see. It's actually pretty straight. It's not too much of a curvy line. All right, I think this is, yep. We're just going to make some adjustments if I find something weird later. Actually, my glass, compared to the reference image that I'm using, my glass is pretty straight than the reference image. But anyhow, I'm just going to go for this one. Uh, this is my glass anyway, so I'm just going to go. And imitate the line opposite the one that we initially did. Yeah, my, okay, so try to make it straight. Okay, and then okay, we're not yet done with the mouth, all right? So I'm going to use the same color. This time, let's close the mouth. Again, we're not going to do any super curvy, deep curves here. The line is pretty much straight. I feel that it's a little weird. I think I'm gonna make some adjustments later. My, I feel like it's higher here and it's lower here. It will be covered with some orange slice, uh, with an orange slice later. So we will be uh, correcting it again we're just in the sketch part actually this is the most stressful part <laughs> for me especially when I'm doing um, things like this uh, this are um, this require uh, this type of paintings um, requires uh, straight lines and Proportion, of course, most of the paintings require proportion, but I feel like when I'm doing man-made objects, not nature, I feel that it's more required to be uh, exact and symmetrical. Yeah, that's what I mean, actually. Not exact, but symmetrical. Right. I really do feel that the mouth is weird. So I think I have to make it a little straighter. Anyway, we'll we'll correct it as we go on, all right? It will be covered with paints later. So let's just stick with what we have now. Again, let's do some more detailing all right like that hmm. all right guys the mouth is stressing me out <laughs> I don't know why but again we're not yet done we're not even halfway there 
So now I'm gonna underpaint my subject. Kind of disregard this one. I feel like this is not included in the group. Why is it there? Why did I even do that? I don't recall. I'm gonna get my orange, right? I'm gonna get my yellow. I'm gonna add tiny bit of brown just to tone the color down. Tiny bit of black. So this is like this color. Again, more yellow. Let's do the uh, water or the liquid portion of this painting. So it will be here. So this is the underpainting. And I'm just going to go and paint it with the color that I have here. Now this is the time for you to thin the sketch lines because as I told you uh, during the intro of this video, not intro but uh, the first few minutes of this video, I told you that we will be painting over the sketch lines because we don't want any sketch lines to be showing in the final look of the painting. And I'm talking about the sketch lines outlining the subject, not the sketch lines inside the glass. So some of the sketch lines inside the glass will not be deleted, but the sketch lines outlining the glass will be painted over. All right. So this will be the paint, the underpainting for the water. Oh, no, no, no. Not the water, guys. For the juice. I'm just gonna layer over uh, with some yellowy orangey colors and you can actually go randomly here because this is the juice portion so you can already suggest movement and um, fluidity fluidity I'm speaking like a scientist all right I Okay, and now I'm going to use the same color right here. This is like the reflection of the juice, the orange juice. Again, try to remove uh, those sketch lines already. Okay, using the same orangey yellowy color with some maybe brown let's add some like an orange slice and then just paint over it some yellowy colors of course fingers if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to finger painting 101 because I do a lot of finger painting so I'm gonna add some yellowy colors right here and I'm using my fingers because I kind of like the blending that my painting gets when I use my fingers directly on my canvas. If you do not like this step, it's alright. You can always use your brush. I'm not forcing anyone to do whatever it is that I'm doing. Another orange slice going on here. Okay, this actually looks good already. I mean, we're not even halfway there. I think this is just what? 15%. <laughs> All right, like that. 
Okay, now since we're already using the orangey color, we're going to use the same color to create the orangey, the orangey, I mean the orange slice right on top of the glass. On the mouth, I mean. So here. We're going to paint over the glass for now so that it's easy for us to identify the, the object. Okay, we will add more details later. For now, let's just do color blocking. Actually, this is still color, color blocking. And then I'm just gonna paint over it. Now, if you're worried that we're covering it, we're actually covering it. The purpose of continuous sketching is for us to have a straighter line. Like that. Kind of enjoy the randomness of my brush strokes here. Like I keep, I can go up and down and left and right, diagonal and vertical and horizontal without worrying too much. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna add my yellow right here. More yellow wee colors. that and then I'm gonna allow that first to dry before I do some more detailing okay let's go back to the glass now that we're done with the orange um, underpainting we'll go back to that later but basically we're done with the underpainting of the orange part so for the glass since this is the glass we should make some reflections and um, refractions is that correct Maybe not so much of a refraction, more of reflection. So for this, I'm just gonna, since the background wall is browny color, the reflected color on the glass will be a little darker than the exact color of the wall. And that would mean it's dark brown. So I'm gonna get my black and brown, maybe add a tiny bit of white just to make it more milky and creamy. Add burnt sienna. Make sure that what you're doing is a shade darker than the wall that we did. And then I'm going to add water, maybe add more black. It's a little darker. And then we're going to color. I don't know if this is too dark. I'm just going to correct it later if it's too dark. But I think this is good. So we're just going to color a portion of this inside of the glass. It will make sense later. For now, it doesn't. It feels like we're just darkening it. All right, like that. Okay. Now I'm going to add orange to the mixture that we had. I'm going to get my orange. 
so it should be really really dark orange I'm gonna color okay I need darker orange and then I'm just gonna color this area Should be like this. Alright. Then maybe I need to create I need to make this a little longer on the orange slice. Alright, like that. Alright. And then I'm gonna get my pure orange and I'm gonna apply some orangey colors right here okay. and with some brownie colors let's create like that also here okay Okay, we basically underpainted the glass. I need more yellowy colors. Oops, that's too dark. I did not wash my brush carefully. I just got more yellow. I'm gonna add white to my yellow. And let's just make some highlights already. Using some dark browns. Alright, like that. 
that. Okay, now let's create the mouth, which is the correct. Uh, we're going to paint over this orange. So using some browns, let's just reconnect. Okay. okay it's not. It's not working. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. This is. We're just going to reconnect that. All right, like that. Okay. It's getting um, trickier and trickier. I'm going to use a more pointy brush. I'm going to get my white. Using white, I'm going to make some more highlights right here. And then again, I'm using my fingers. And we're going to make some dry brushing. It's not really dry, it's actually wet. Again, as I told you, we'll be dry brushing, guys. So remove the excess water from the paintbrush and just do this way. Make sure that the brush that you're going to use is clean. All right, like this. And just go vertical in your brush strokes. Like that. And then I'm going to go here. All right, like that, and let's highlight this part. Okay. Your white.
All right. Okay, it's starting to make sense already. I'm gonna get my yellow with white. Let's go make some more highlights. Oops. And then here. Okay, now I'm gonna get my more pointy brush. Okay, before we do some more highlights on the glass, all right? So I think I really like how <laughs> the mouth is now more, um, the, it's how I like it more, all right? Compared to earlier. So I'm gonna use my more pointy brush and I'm just gonna outline some, or I'm gonna make some lines right here down on the bottom of the glass. So using some black, let's just highlight, oh no, 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 not, not highlight. I keep on uh, speaking about highlights. This is detailing. Right. We're gonna do the same thing down here. like that and then I'm gonna wash my brush out we're going to make this portion of the glass a little grayer um, it's it's too white all right so I'm gonna get my white add some black let's make this okay more gray all right going to paint over this mistake again remove the sketch lines along the side of the glass Okay, I'm gonna get my white to lighten the corners. that 
And using this gray, I'm just gonna gray some areas. Let's fix this. All right, like that. Okay, I actually painted over this. And then let's create some shadow. I'm gonna use the same color. All right. I'm gonna get my orange and yellows. Like that. And here, some more orange. that let's just add more detailing so now I'm gonna do like the stick on which the orange slice is placed so I'm gonna use my burnt sienna plus white plus yellow okay. so it's like this color and then I'm going to use that to create that stick. Right. It's like that. 
I'm gonna do it like that. And then while waiting for that to dry, let's just go and make some more highlights. Let's make the most uh, of our time. yellowy color on the side Oops. Okay. Okay. and then some brownie details I'm just going to darken the left and right corners. Okay. Again, I'm just going to use some yellow to create more details on the orange. As you can see, I'm using a lot of water for this. Right like that. Then I'm gonna use my black, okay? And thinly outline the orange. Thinly outline, guys. Don't overdo the outlining. We don't want any hard lines again. Okay, now I'm going to outline the stick. So it's like that. All right, now we're going to get some white. And then let's highlight the mouth. I'm going to make it a little straighter. It's too curvy. Again, we don't want any curvy, curvy uh, thing. Too much curve on the mouth. And also the up here. And I'm going to highlight the stick. Right like that. Okay, now, all right. Oh, this looks nice. But I need to gray the light, the sides of the glass. So I'm gonna get my gray. Just mix your white and black. And let's just go and dry brush the sides. Just uh, 
gray the sides guys just gray it So here All right. Oh my gosh, I like it. I think I need a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna lighten some areas on the table like that just to really give that finished look some yellows and some orange also here right like that i kind of like this one i think i'm gonna gray it even more on the um uh, left side orange is mixing I'm gonna get my black I'm just gonna add hints of black color on certain areas Let me check. Okay. I'm going to get more white and just add some dots
Okay, and then some white again. Let me check. Okay. This is good, guys. It's good. I'm just going to add more detailing right here. This is not important, but I feel like it should be there. Let me check it now. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to get my black. I'm going to water it down. I'm going to try to glaze it with black right here. Okay, using white, I'm going to glaze down here. Yep. I think we're done, guys. What do you think? I think we're done. Mm. 
gonna get a little bit of browns. Wow, I think this is done guys, right? So I think I'm gonna sign this now because it's pretty much done. So you can actually hear some noise in the background because my street is quite busy. So I'm gonna use my black to sign it right here. And we're done guys, we're done! I'm so glad that I finished uh, this one. Um, it's just, um, what they call this, um, fulfilling and satisfying. I'm just gonna get my black. <laughs> Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, just like that. I just wanted to clean it a bit. Yeah, I think this is done. <laughs> I keep on saying that this is done and then I keep going back. Okay, yep. Yes, I hope you like this one, guys. Oh my gosh, we're done. I hope you like this one. I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you do this one as well. So like this video if you like this. Share this with your friends. Let them know that I exist so that they learn from my videos as well. I hope you enjoy this one, guys. See you in my next video. Love you.